Hey, sneaky legs back tonight. Tonight we've got Reconk. Now, Reconk is a new browser. Well, it's not new, it's been in the pipeline for a little while, but I thought I'd have a look at it. Because I'm hoping it's going to be a replacement for Conqueror. Now, Conqueror's been around for years and years and years. But this actually integrates with it, so you can change all your bookmarks over to it, etc, etc. Now, it's based on the old Nokia QT demo browser, like Aurora, uh, maybe Midori a bit as well. I don't think about Midori. But anyway, we're going to go to this site and do a quick look around for you. And check it out. Okay, Reconk web browser. Here's the page. Oh, what I said it's about just a minute ago. Look. Yeah, it's all there, blah, 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 blah. But it's a really, really, really fast browser. Remember, it's a WebKit one as well. Now, there's lots of settings you can change in there, and they've made it KDE-specific. This is what I really like about it. Although I'm not a KDE user, I like the browser. So, yeah, super fast, super cool, super lovely, jubbly, jubbly, wobbly. So you can configure it to your heart's content. Now, when you want to configure it, you get the usual KDE section here, look. So, you know, it's all f quite familiar. But the added advantage is, a reconk is like 10 times faster, which is even better for me. So, yeah, I really like it. And I thought I'd just do this one, just to show you there are other stuff about than just Firefox and Chromium and Chrome and blah blah blah, blah that you can try out. I mean, I really like Aurora, but sometimes that's just not, uh, shall we say, nice. Sometimes it goes bang. But this, so far, reconk is okay. Although I have encountered a few problems, and I'll show you that in a bit. So we're going through the settings here. Like you can add, add blocks and do shortcuts. You can actually do the web via the keyboard without a mouse. You don't even have to have a mouse to use it. All the things are here. All the settings are here. You can do it on most other web browsers, but here you can actually see it in the flesh. No, it's on the screen. So lovely. Even better. Yeah, I rather like it. So what we're going to do. We're going to check some stuff out. So I'm going to go down to the tube. Now this is where I had the first problem. So we go to YouTube, and we click on it. See how fast it is. I've not edited this bit whatsoever. So that's really, really, really nice. This is on a really old test machine, this one. So I'll click OK there, because I'm in the UK. Now I'm just going to go look at more of my own videos on it. So you can't use somebody else's. I'll get the ump, umpty dumpty and all that. So i put in Snakey Linux. Without the gap, thank you very much. Oh look, I've got a featured video there. So we'll go to the Jolly Cloud video. I'll just click on it one more time for you. Oh, the first time even. Okay, it comes up rather nice, isn't it? Now this is the problem we have. As soon as you go to extend the browser or the video, it doesn't want to play ball. Now it does with this whether you're recording or not. On the other hand, full screen is fine. I'll show you that in a second. Click on, click on there, or tick on there. Lovely full screen. But hey, ordinary screen, not so good. So you're going to have to work on that one. Whether it's a flash problem or HTML or fire problem, I don't know. But there's something gone wrong there in the works, hasn't there? But apart from that, it's really, really, really nice to use and really nice and fast. So if you're a KDE user or using a distro that uses KDE that's quite a low spec one, this might be a better browser than Chrome or Chromium for you. So anyway, I love it. Sneaky, bleeding Linux, going bleeding that. See you later.